Which brings us to East Rochester. Here's Dan Fates with a story on the football team that we call Home of Champions Still. If you wanted to see dominant football back in the day, you went to East Rochester on Friday nights. Under legendary head coach Don Quinn, the Bombers were the cream of the crop. Nowadays, they play on Don Quinn Field and are returning titles to the town again. Well, it's been a lot of fun the last few years. We've had a lot of kids really committed to doing well and performing well. And uh, last year's team was a little bit of a surprise. We didn't know how good we would be last year and they really came together. And then this team sort of piggybacked on what last year's team did. Uh, we have a great coaching staff here, I think. Guys do a great job preparing them. And the kids buy into what we're trying to do offensively and defensively. And uh, you know they executed very well, and that, that's the difference. Last year's ER Bombers went 8-2 and two on their way to a Class C sectional title and revived a community that loves its football. Honestly, I think it's like probably one of the coolest things because I think it kind of br like brings people together in a way. So like... Everyone gets really excited when we play. You know, everyone around the community, especially after last year when he sectionals, everyone's just, you know, I always see the stands packed. Everyone's pumped, you know. A community that gave the Bombers a police escort home after bringing hardware back to East Rochester. There's been a lot of excitement, a lot more people attending games. Uh, no matter where you go in either community, people are talking about football a little bit more than they were, were before. So it's been, you know, it's been a lot of fun. I think a lot of fun for the players too. Having the escort and everything, that was something really cool to go through and go through the town and you know hear people chanting this and cheering us on. At the games, well, the home games, it's really like explosive. There's a lot of people there. You know, the crowds are going wild per se and it's just it's just fun the er bombers may be having fun tied atop the class c standings but they're all business on game days a big part is due to wide receiver andrew fisher who has caught 22 touchdown passes as a junior he's outstanding on the outside it really causes a lot of problem because we run the ball very well and what that does it opens up a lot of one-on-one -on -one coverage for him and he's very very difficult to handle he runs great routes he's got good speed and quickness and if you watch him in a game, he catches everything with his hands. He got great hands. Yeah, what's it like throwing to Andy? Uh, Andy runs really good routes. It makes it a lot easier on me. You know, I can. I don't have to be as pinpoint exactly. I can just throw it there, and I can trust him to get it. He makes you look good. Yeah, you can say that. One thing that hasn't slowed down the program is a shrinking district. The athletic team now share their fields with Gananda. It's worked out very well. Kids get along great. Uh, the parents have been very supportive in both communities. So, you know, it's a marriage that is necessary. You wouldn't have a football program here if we didn't have it. It kind of like builds you in your own way. And uh, you create a new personality through meeting people like them because they live out in Gananda. You know, I live out here in kind of like a city area. And, you know, it's kind of cool how people come together and uh, the relationships that I've gained with some kids over here. We're, we're all brothers. I mean, we love each other to death. I mean, they're all just great friends that I hope I can keep throughout my life. For the Vision High School Sports Beat, I'm Dan Fates. Thank you.